Hey guys, what's up? <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Small Town Retro Gamer here. I was trying to think of some different ideas for videos in between, you know, pickups and live game hunting and, you know, movie talk videos, which I'm going to do in the future. Um, I actually got some live game hunting video or footage that I got today. I'm going to try to go out throughout the week, this next week, and get a little bit more. But I thought of Top 5 Fridays. So what I was thinking is, you know, maybe not every Friday, but on Fridays, I know it's Saturday right now, but on Fridays, you know, doing a top five chart, you know, just uncut, impromptu, you know, what I can think off the top of my head. And the first one, since I'm watching, not on the TV right now, but March Madness, top five favorite sports organization, not just top five favorite sports, top five sports organizations, you know, between college <coughs> and professional. So those can be separated. Um, number five, to start us off would be college basketball i love march madness the whole tournament you know making the brackets that's super fun and i'm a huge ucla fan um grew up really loving john wooden's philosophy you know and just you know because i read a book on him when i was really little like the 10 steps or whatever he had i can't even remember what it is right now but i remember reading the book on him when i was really little and i was like oh he's awesome and then you know of course they're huge undefeated streak the consecutive national championships, which still has not been broken, the seven in a row. Um, so, love that. So, that would be number five. And then number four would be the professional basketball NBA. I was a Sonics fan um, because, for some reason, I really loved when Ray Allen and Gary Payton talked to him. And I remember, or played for him, sorry. And I remember Sean Kemp being a beast back in the day because, um, you know, I was a little young. He was, I think, about... He was getting older when I, I was born in 90, so, but I remember Ray Allen and Gary Payton playing for him, and I remember I loved Gary Payton, you know, the defense, the trash talk, and everything like that. I am a Thunder fan now, just because I didn't have any real ties to the Sonics, you know, I wasn't from there, so I wasn't as scorned as other people were when they moved after they got Durant, so I'm a Thunder fan now, and I do watch the playoffs, and I watch, you know, season games here and there, it's a long season, so. And then number three... This was a tough one between these two, but I had to go with the NFL number three. I'm a huge Denver Broncos fan. You know, grew up a Denver Broncos fan. You know, being close kind of helped. The same with the Sonics, too. And I'm a Mariners fan, even though MLB will not be on this video. Um, you know, grew up close. You know, John Elway was my guy back in the day. Um, was convinced I was going to be like him. You know, Terrell Davis, TD, Rod Smith, Shannon Shaw, Bird McCaffrey... You know, and then like Von Miller, Emmanuel Sanders, Peyton Manning, which is retired now. But all those guys today, they just won the title. And I remember in 98, 99, being so psyched going to school after they won the title. Titles. So that was awesome. And, uh, yeah, my second favorite sport. I'll watch it almost all day Sunday, and I'll watch it Monday nights. So, came in a close third to number two, which is college football. Again, huge UCLA fan. Um, I actually went to see them play Utah Utes, as I said in the last video. My sister lives in Utah, and she bought me tickets for Christmas, so I went and put, watched them beat the Utah Utes this year, which was awesome. My first college game, I went to a NFL game a while ago where the Broncos actually lost. But, you know, I mean, it was just awesome. Just college football, the feel of it, you know, just all the bowl games, all the different teams you get to watch. You can watch Saturday from, you know, 8 a.m. till 12 midnight you know and you can watch thursday night and tuesday night and have random games at all times it's awesome i love it but number one mixed martial arts um i do not participate because i'm not getting punched in the face i don't like it but uh i do i've watched it since the ultimate fighter one with forrest griffin and stephen bonner their epic fight so I remember that was really, I remember my brother, who's a little bit older than me, eight years, used to rent the VHSs of it. And I remember we'd watch them, and I always liked them, but, you know, I was still a little bit younger. I didn't know exactly what was going on. So Ultimate Fighter 1, I was really able to kind of see it. And I remember hating Josh Koscheck, Ultimate Villain, for all time. Uh, same with, I, I like Chris Lieben now, but back in the day. But I remember really liking that show. And then from that... I was hooked, and it was like every MMA event that I could watch or see on TV or whatever that I'd go to. So, you know, not just the UFC. UFC, Bellator, I've just watched Rise, and I watched 
Legacy Fighting Championships 52 last night with Matt Danger, Schnell, um, you know, just everything. So, MMA was number one. Honorable mentions would be MLB. I just, I will watch the playoffs. I do like the MLB playoffs. I'm a Mariners fan, so I don't get to watch my team in the playoffs, but I do like the playoffs. Um, then, you know, the season's just way too long, and the games are way too long, too. And then another honorable mention, the second honorable mention, I'll say uh, scripted wrestling, you know, WWE. I do watch it. I wouldn't say all the time, but semi-regularly I do watch it. Um, I watch Monday Night Raw. I am not a WWE Network member. I am a UFC Fight Pass member, which is another reason I'm able to watch all those events all the time. There's one like every Friday on that thing, I swear to God, which I will call friends and say I'm not able to go out because until 11 because I have to watch this. But, uh, you know, so I do watch Raw. When the NFL isn't on, I watch Raw. And I don't watch SmackDown and I don't watch pay-per-views because Raw usually will just tell you what happened anyway. But anyway, that's my first top five Friday. I know it's a Saturday. But, you know, all five of you that watch my channel, if you want to comment with your favorite sport or your top five favorite sports if you really want to, or your favorite team or whatever down below, and like and subscribe or, you know, whatever else you want to do, Thank you guys for watching. I thought this would be, you know, just a way maybe learn a little bit more about me and get some content out there. Thanks, guys.